वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स ह्यूमन आई इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट सेंस ऑर्गन इट एनेबल्स अस टू सी दिस कलरफुल वर्ल्ड सो लेट्स डिस्कस द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ह्यूमन आई इन दिस वीडियो सो दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ह्यूमन आई जनरली दिस इज कॉल्ड आई बॉल एंड the eyeball is little elliptical in shape and this is the part which appears outside yeah this curved part at out part outer side of the eyeball it is slightly sharpen and this transparent outer part is called as cornea and after that after the cornea a space is there in this space a liquid is present in that area that is called as aqueous humor and then after that then we can observe a muscular membrane is present this muscular membrane is called as iris and iris has a small hole in between that the color part of the eye is said to be iris the hole the small hole present in the eye iris is said to be pupil this is a part which is the uh, hole of a center point of the iris a small hole is present in the iris that part is said to be that hole is said to be pupil the light enters into the eye from the pupil so here iris acts like a variable aperture for entrance of light which means it controls the entering of the light into our eye from the pupil whenever we are observing a low light the iris allows the pupil to expand then more light enters into our eye and whenever you observe we are observing a bright light intense light then the iris contrast then what happens the size of the pupil decreases very low light enters into our eye so that's why the iris is said to be variable aperture and the pupil appears black in because the light enters from the pupil into the eye but no light comes outward that why that uh, pupil appears bl black and then after the pupil a lens present a convex lens present that is generally eye lens this lens in the middle part of this lens crystalline lens the middle part of this crystalline lens is hard as we move the edges it becomes a soft then after that here the rear end or the back side of the eyeball is said to be the retina here the image formed by the eye lens is always formed on the retina and the distance between this eye lens and the retina is 2.5 cm so the distance between eye lens and retina retina is a screen acts like a screen the images formed by the lens eye lens always that formed on the retina so the distance between this retina and the eye lens is 2.5 cm then here we know that in the refraction of light at curved surfaces we have discussed that the convex lens forms images at different places as the 
distance of object changes okay based on the distance of object the lens convex lens forms the image in different places so but in case of the eye lens wherever the object it is always the image is formed on the retina which means it is the distance the image distance is 2.5 centimeters from the lens then how it is possible how the image is formed at the same place with this uh, eye lens so then how it is possible it is possible only with the case whenever the radius of curvature or the focal length of the eye lens changes if the focal length changes then it is possible to form that uh, image always at same distance yes our human eye has the capability of the changing of focal length or radius of curvature with the help of the muscles called ciliary muscles the ciliary muscles helps to change the focal length of the eye lens with this help of these ciliary muscles the eye lens changes its focal length maximum to minimum then how these ciliary muscles changes the focal length of eye lens for example whenever we are observing a object from long distance say infinite distance then what happens that our eye lens has maximum focal length the object at infinite distance the light rays parallel to the each other and incidents on the lens then image is formed on the retina then the focal length of the lens is equal to the distance of the retina so in this case the ciliary muscles relaxes then the eye lens has maximum focal length similarly whenever we observe the object from least distance of distinct vision so we can observe the objects clearly from certain distance uh, from our eye so the distance is said to be least distance of distinct vision then if you keep the object close to you then what is the focal length of this eye lens again the image is formed on the retina same distance that is 2.5 centimeters but here whenever we are observing the closer objects the focal length of the eye lens should be changed for that ciliary muscles contact contracts then what happens it's the the focal length of the eye lens changes minimum then the image again forms on the retina in this way by relaxing by contracting these by the ciliary muscles the eye lens changes its focal length the changing of focal length is takes place up to a certain limit beyond that limit it is not possible so in this way the ciliary muscle helps our eye lens to change it its focal length hence the image always the image distance from the eye lens is said to be 2.5 cm then how we are able to uh, see that image of that object we know that the rare part is uh, that uh, retina retina is made up of a membrane a delicate membrane which is having 125 millions of receptors they are called as rods and cones okay the retina has the red receptors and uh, rods and cones 125 millions of receptors and here the cones 
observes the color of the image and rods observes the intensity of the lights and these images these signals are passed from the optic nerves to our brain then our brain feels the vision sensation of vision in this way the eye lens and our eye works so this is about the structure of human eye in next class we will discuss what is the maximum and minimum focal length of the islands so thank you